contractual agreements of any kind can lead to misunderstandings or disputes. A misunderstanding is an objective ambiguity between two parties to an agreement where subjectively the parties were thinking of two different things. Real estate contracts are no different and at the top of the list when it comes to this issue and things can get emotional. Right off the bat in paragraph two of the residential one to four contract, the contract provides for a long list of items deemed fixtures and improvements that either remain at the property or can be taken by the seller. And even with all this guidance, the designation of an item may not always be cut and dry. Sellers, if you think all those curtains are going with you when you sell, and buyers, if you have your eye on that bookshelf, we must discuss these things early in the offer phase. Disagreements over paragraph two can easily cause a transaction to fall completely apart. This is Diane Irig with Diane Ira Real Estate Group and EXP Realty. If the item is permanently attached to the property, it becomes a fixture and cannot be removed. If, however, the item maintains its character as personality, it is not considered a fixture and may be removed by the seller. A fixture is defined as a permanent part of the real estate. Whether an item of personal property has been so permanently attached as to constitute realty is a question of fact. Three factors are relevant in determining whether personal property has become a fixture. Number one, the mode and sufficiency of attachment. The key question here will be if the real estate to be sold will and to what extent be damaged by the item's removal. Number two, the adaptation of the item to the use or purpose of the property. Is the item intrinsic to the property at its highest and best use, even if the item is easily removed? Floating flooring is a good example of an item that could be easily removed but remains as a fixture. Number three, the party's intention is the predominant factor in this dispute. While the first two factors constitute evidence of that intention, testimony of intention will not prevail. However, in the face of an undisputed evidence to the contrary, it is imperative that, this, that should the seller wish to retain an improvement, I, paragraph 2B, and or accessory, paragraph 2C, those items need to be mentioned in exclusions, paragraph 2 D. If a judgment must be made about the relationship of the parties will be the factor in the dispute. The key difference being whether it is a seller-buyer relationship or a tenant-landlord relationship. In the end, the buyer has the upper hand typically in these kinds of disputes. Examples of items to be left behind by the seller are washer-dryers, chandeliers, curtain rods, and items to be considered non-fixtures and taken by the are refrigerators, curtains and drapes, and yard decorations. This is Diane Irig with Diane Irig Real Estate and EXP Group. Let's get together and discuss your next real estate move. Realizing your dreams, one home at a time.